Welcome to the FEMA Go Startup Guide training. This startup guide provides instructions for new users to register in FEMA Go, log into the system, manage their organizations, and manage pending registrations. This guide was prepared by the GPD Communications, Culture, Analytics, and Training Branch. This startup guide is an introduction to FEMA Go. Within this startup guide, we will be covering a few topics. We will provide an overview of the Grants Technology Division GTD initiative. We will review the FEMA Go external user roles, explain the relationship between SAM.gov and FEMA Go, and walk through the key functionalities of navigating the system. In the table of contents, the subjects we will be covering include Section 1, Grants Technology Division, Section 2, GTD's Expected Outcomes, Section 3, Roles and Permissions, Section 4, SAM.gov, Section 5, User Registration, including Account Creation, Validation, and Logging In, Section 6, My Organization Profile, Section 7, Manage My Team, Section 8, Adding a New Team Member, Section 9, Managing Pending Registrations, and Section 10, Help Desk Information. Grants Technology Division, GTD, is transforming FEMA grants by simplifying and streamlining business methods. GTD is working to support a consolidated grant system, moving from multiple legacy systems to one unified grants management platform called FEMA Grants Outcomes, or known as FEMA Go. When we start with FEMA Go, we started with AFG, then we added in HMA and FMA. We are currently onboarding some additional programs. The Grants Management Modernization Initiative will deliver the FEMA Go system using a user-centric approach that will improve staff productivity and the allocation of resources. We will engage with stakeholders to fully capture all needs, fill gaps, and embrace positive transformation opportunities for how we award and manage grants. The Grants Technology Division has some expected outcomes. Our expected outcomes are to improve technology to meet business needs, simplify grants lifecycle processes, improve timelines of grants awards to survivors and communities, and provide access to complete and accurate grants data in one system. FEMA Go will replace the legacy systems currently used to manage FEMA grants, but the legacy systems won't go offline until their functionality has been fully tested and validated in the new system. So have no fear, your data is here and will remain secure and available. We are going to switch to talking about some of the roles and permissions within an organization when you are working in FEMA Go. There are multiple roles that can be assigned within FEMA Go. The most important role is the Authorized Organization Representative, also known as an AOR. The AOR manages team members and has all permissions for the organization, including submitting information to FEMA. There is no limit on the additional number of AORs an organization can assign, but please keep in mind the importance of this role when assigning members. Again, they are the role that is able to submit an application to FEMA. Managed by the AOR, we have some other roles. An organization member can view and edit all information, but cannot submit to FEMA or manage teams. A programmatic member can view and edit all information, submit amendments and programmatic reports. A financial member can view and edit all information and can only submit payments or drawdown requests, financial reports and amendments. A grant writer can view and edit all information for an application or sub-application. A subrecipient authorized representative, also known as an SAR, can view, edit, and submit a sub-application and give other users subrecipient role permissions. A subrecipient member can view and edit a sub-application. We will now spend some time talking about SAM.gov. 
On the screen is an image of the SAM.gov landing page. SAM.gov and FEMA Go have a working relationship. Automated sweeps of SAM.gov are conducted nightly by FEMA Go to pull over updated information. SAM.gov is a free site. You can use SAM.gov to register to do business with the U.S. government. You can update or renew an entity registration. You can check the status of your entity registration. You can also search for entity registration and exclusion records. When using FEMA Go, entities must have an active SAM.gov registration. In order to apply to FEMA through the FEMA Go system, it must be active. When you register in SAM.gov, at a minimum, you will need to know the following information about your organization. You need to know the name of the organization, the organization's eBiz point of contact, the organization's email and organization phone number, and the unique entity identifier known as a UEI. Once you have registered in FEMA Go, FEMA Go will automatically import and add certain information from your SAM.gov record. Please make sure to check that information for accuracy. If you are awarded a grant, the banking institution information contained in your SAM record will be utilized. So please make sure it is accurate. Please note that any updates that are made to your SAM record may take 24 to 48 hours to reflect in FEMA Go. Please make sure to check it after that 48 hour window has passed. This 48 hour window can impact your ability to begin an application since you need to wait until it is synced before you can begin. Please keep this in mind when you are registering in SAM.gov. There's a few things to keep in mind when you are using SAM.gov in relationship to FEMA Go. Registering with SAM.gov is required to start and apply for a FEMA grant. SAM.gov is a free website that you can use. Your SAM.gov account must remain active throughout the evaluation process. It is only active for one year and must be renewed annually. Your SAM.gov registration has an expiration date. Now let's take a look at the three steps for user registration in FEMA Go. We'll look at account creation, account validation and registration, and how to log in for the first time. As an external user, there's a few steps you need to follow to create an account in FEMA Go. Step one, Go to the FEMA Go website, go.fema.gov. Then select Create an Account under Login on this page. This will take you to register a new account page. Step 2. On this page, you will need to enter a valid email address in the email box and then enter your email address in the Confirm email to confirm its validity. Please make sure you enter a valid email address. Then select I am not a robot to complete the CAPTCHA. And lastly, select the submit button on this register page. You will then need to validate your email. You will receive an email with the subject line FEMA Go registration from no reply at fema.dhs.gov. In this email, there is a thank you for registering sentence, followed by a link to select to complete your registration. The link contained within the email expires after 24 hours. Please make sure you complete your registration validation within that 24 hour period. Please make sure you check your spam and junk folders if you do not receive this email after several minutes. Once you have selected the validation link in your email, you will be taken to the next step, which is to register your account. To complete this step, you're going to enter your first and last name on the account creation page. Then you need to create a password using the following requirements. 
you must have one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one number, and one special character within your password. These requirements can be found on the account creation page. Then you need to retype your password in the confirm password section on the account creation page. Lastly, you are going to select the submit button on the account creation page. Please make sure that your passwords match before submitting. If your passwords do not match or meet the requirements, you will receive an error message. Now you can finally log into your account. Step one, you need to return to the FEMA Go login page, go.fema.gov. Step two, next you're going to enter the email and password you just created on the login page. Then select the log in button on the page to get started in FEMA Go. Lastly is step three. After selecting log in on the previous page, the system will open to the FEMA Go welcome screen. From the welcome screen, users can navigate the system. Your view on the welcome to FEMA's new grant system page will depend on your assigned role or roles in FEMA Go. If you only see the welcome message and no ribbon at the top of the page with grants and organization links visible, please contact your eBiz point of contact so they can set up your organization in the system. If you do not know your organization's eBiz point of contact, you can search for it within FEMA Go at the bottom of the welcome screen. To find your eBiz point of contact, go to Accessing Your Organization section in FEMA Go. Then enter your organization's UEI number in the search field and select the search button. If a blue statement opens saying that your organization is already registered, please reach out to your eBiz point of contact listed to be added to the organization. Once you are logged into FEMA Go and set up with an organization, you can see the My Organizations profile page. Let's learn how to navigate there now. To learn more about your organization, select the organization's link at the top of the screen in the blue banner to view the My Organization summary. Your organization summary information will then be displayed on the screen for review. If you belong to more than one organization, select the drop down, select an organization on the right side of the screen to choose a different organization summary page. The next three sections are for AORs and SARs only. Let's learn how to manage a team as an AOR or SAR in FEMA Go. To manage your team as an AOR or SAR, there are two steps you need to follow after navigating to the My Organization page as previously described. Step one, select the Manage My Team link from the left navigation panel. Your current team members will then appear in the main section of the page. Step two, select manage under the actions column on the far right next to the individual you want to manage. This allows another screen to open where you can manage that team member. Please note only an AOR or SAR can manage a team. This section pertains to AORs and SARs only. As an AOR or SAR, you can also add a new team member in FEMA Go. Let's learn how to do that now. There are a few steps that must be followed to add a team member. You start by accessing the Manage My Team page as previously described. On this page, step one is to select the Add a New Team Member button, found on the right side of the page above the Actions column. This opens a new add a team member to your organization window. 
Step two is to enter the email address of the new team member you wish to add in the Enter Email section on this new window. Then select the Enter button below the email address to go to the next step. Step three, the screen will display is this the person you wish to provide access to your organization or sub-organization? If it is correct, select yes to confirm that you wish to add the person. Step four, open the drop-down menu on the screen and select a user role within the organization to assign this person. The example on the screen shows organization member being selected. Step five, after you have assigned the role or roles to this individual, select the Add This Team Member button found on the screen under the Roles section to add the new team member. Please note, when you add a person to an organization, they must register in FEMA Go. They will receive an email stating that they need to register in FEMA Go. This section pertains to AORs and SARs only. As an AOR or SAR, you have the responsibility of managing pending registrations. We're going to learn how to do that now in FEMA Go. To manage pending registrations as an AOR or SAR, there's a few steps to follow. Step one. After you navigate to the My Organization page as previously described, select Manage Pending Registrations from the left navigation panel. This will change the main page to see users who have not yet registered in FEMA Go. Step two, under the Actions column on the right side of the screen, select Remove Unregistered User. A window will open. Step three, in this remove unregistered user window, select the unregistered user's information. Then select the yes remove unregistered user button. This is for members that you want to remove that are not already registered in FEMA Go. This brings us to the end of our training. We hope you enjoyed this FEMA Go startup guide training. If you have additional questions, please reach out to the FEMA Go Help Desk. Please send any questions to the FEMA Go Help Desk email address, femago at fema.dhs.gov, or call them at 1-877-585-3242. Their hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for viewing this training.